What's up everybody, this is the CEO of the one and only Storm Island guys, and it is February 24th, and we'll be talking about Clash of Clans update coming to the game. I'm mostly excited for uh, the new clan chat features guys, we're getting new feature coming to the clan chat, new levels of troops, and we'll be breaking down every single thing guys, we're going straight on into the analytics, so grab some popcorn, relax, and support your small Clash of Clans streamer baby. Alrighty, so starting from the bottom, as you can see, I'm on a website called blueprintcoc.com. Uh, Shout out to that website, guys. Uh, being the fact that I'm just uh, starting a Supercell program, I do not have access to all these updates. Means this video is a little bit later. But shout out to everybody that supports small guys like us trying to grow in a classical and community. First and foremost, we got a nerve to the miners. We got uh, level one um, hit points dropped to. 3,300 level two dropped to 3,500 level three hit points decreased to 3,700 and level four hit point decreased to 3,900 that's all the miners are getting a huge drop in clan capital as they were the most dominant troop being used um let me know guys do you hate or love that update i i, I haven't tried miners yet so i'm not too sure what i think about it but the builder base night witch is getting a huge buff to each and every one of the levels increasing in bat spawns and also increasing in hit points you have levels where the hit points is being increased by a thousand one thousand two hundred guys uh level 20 hit points increased to two one thousand two hundred and twenty that is absolutely great uh the builder base drop shit drop ship <laughs> bloopers bloopers increase attack range from 0 to 50 reduce active ability damage radius from 300 to 225 so that's a huge dip for the the drop ship i didn't think the drop ship was much of a good um builder base um troop i think it's okay but it's not the best more the less they decided to nerf it uh, we got this is a huge one for i'm looking at you mitch tv gaming this is a huge one for mitch tv gaming guys if you haven't dropped on the live streams i'm live every single night uh we got e-drags getting a buff i said it before guys e-drags seemed so weak so they're now getting a buff level seven hit points increase to 5200 and level six my bad and level seven hit points increased to 5500 uh, i think that buff was needed for the e-drags one i'm a bit controversial about right now is the dragons level 11 dragon hit points increased to 5300 not too sure the dragons need a buff i thought they were at a good balance of overpowered and i think they were just perfect the way they are uh super barbarians i'm surprised for this one got a nerf level 10 uh reduced to 1200 health hit points level 11 reduced to 1300 and 350 for level 12. i'm shocked for this one but hey supercell already reached out to me all right and now we got root rider i this one was expected hit points decreased to 6500 uh level one level two 7050 and as you can see the list right here 7400 guys i was not expecting it to be that much but i think it's definitely worth it because they're just dominating the meta right now all high town all 12s not town all 12s what am i talking about town all 16s they just use root riders and that's it so i think this is a necessary nerf it might need another nerf but let's see how good it works i can't wait to try these out super archer getting a nerf we got hit points reduced to 575 level 11 level 12 hit points reduced to 600 uh, no why i haven't tried the super archer meta yet and now it's going down all right it sucks but it is what it is uh balance changes behold the mighty hand of balance uh, poised to sculpt the battlefield into a fair thrilling arena all right we also got the we got i think the frost spirit got the frost spirit fox my bad got nerfed um uh so that's a nerf i haven't i haven't access to it yet so huh kudos to everybody that have access to it 
the giant arrow now travels a further distance we saw this in the test guys where the giant arrow didn't actually cover the entire base i think now it does cover the entire base so I, I, more or less i don't really think that's a huge change because people were getting the uh, giant arrow across the entire base either way uh keep an eye out for videos mentioned in reddit all right and i think that's it for the balance changes but let's get down to my favorite part the meat of the matter we got the clan chat major updates guys we got like updates with you can react to messages pin comments as clan leaders as codes you have your own little separate channel so clan chat just got a major glob it was feeling a tad old-fashioned so we spursed it up with some snazzy new visuals and features get ready for a clan chat experience that's as enjoyable as a stroll through through a treasure filled garden interesting words say hello to pin messages now you can stick important chats and system messages right at the top of the clan view plus there's a shiny new tab just for pin messages only the leaders and co-leaders hold the pinning power but fear not messages can be unpinned just as easily as they're pinned that is great. Prepare to express yourself with style, with reactions. You can now jazz up another player's message with e emoji uh, flair. Choose from a delightful selection of preset emojis to add a splash or persona personality, personality to the chat. And the best part is reaction and their quantities are proudly displayed beneath each message so everyone can see how much love or laughter they're getting. I love the ability to do all of this. They needed to make that change. This has probably not been updated since Global Chat. RIP Global Chat. Any girls here? RIP Global Chat. But more or less, guys, I think this was needed. It's a huge change. It's going to make messages feel more fluent it's gonna be less of a chore it's gonna feel like it's more fun you know giving it that little tweeting vibes you know people can react to it uh every platform has been done doing this so i'm glad to see supercell doing it all right so let's speed it up we got new levels for the electro owls as you can see upgrade time is gonna cost eight days uh pets there you go level 12 it's gonna cost you 200 230k dark elixir to go to level 11 now we got new troop updates guys new troop updates and i know you i know you already saw it i sneaked it in by accident but we got new troops coming we got level 12 coming from them for the minions costing 320k dark elixir upgrade time 14 days hog riders level 13 350k dark elixir 14 days and 12 hours bowlers we got level 8 300k dark elixir 15 days baby dragons level 10 20 million elixir and i mean million 15 days siege siege barracks upgrading to level 5 this is uh this is interesting upgrading to level 5 18 million elixir 12 days for that upgrade it's one plus pekka so I think we're getting one extra P.E.K.K.A. in that Siege Barracks. We got the lo That's going to change battles. We got Log Launcher 5, level 5, 18 million extra, 12 days upgrade. Mm -mm -mm. We're eating well. And it is to combat the new defenses, as you guys can see right here. I love how they sticked with the same vibe for the nature. Every defense is going to be flushed out, and I'm so excited. I know you already saw this one. It's a spoiler, but we got the Dark Spell Factory, meaning that a new spell is coming soon, guys. Be on the lookout for that video. We got the Hidden Tesla going to level 15. It's going to cost you 20 million gold, 5 million elixir for the Dark Spell Factory. Ten, Inferno Tower is level 10. That's going to fry. We got 22 million gold. Scattershot level 5. We got 22.5 million gold. 15 days, 14 days, and 12 hours for the Inferno Tower. Seeking Air Mine. New level for Seeking Air Mine. 15, 14 million gold. 12 days and 12 hours. We eating well. Shout out to Darian and the other devs. They work for me. I love that they've been coming out with a lot of updates. The CEO told them we needed change. And now they're like, Storm, you're the boss. I respect you. 
So let's give you what you need. And we also get a new building upgrade, guys. As you can see, the Elixir Collector is going to level 12. Costs you 2 million upgrade, 4 days for that upgrade. Uh, we got It starts producing 7,000 gold, 7 million, 7,000 Elixir an hour. Uh, maximum capacity is 385k. Uh, we got the gold mine, 60, level 16, 2 million for upgrade, 4 days. Dark Elixir drill, level 10, 6 million Elixir, 8 days upgrade. Mm, 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 mm. And I think, guys, that is it. Shout out to Blueprint COC for the new updates of what's happening, guys. Check out the video as you can see right here. And also, go spread some love to some of the other creators. Uh, I, it's my first time doing these type of videos. Let me know if you like it. And spread them cheeks. Look, I did be mobbing. This we came up from the bottom. Can't even say the trenches. I guess we had it good until they knocked all of the